So I've been looking around the house lately, thinking something's missing. There's hardly anything living in my living room. I figured maybe a plant would help, but something hip, something that'll pop, as the designers say. So I hit New York City's Flower District, where I met Ashuk Komar, AK to his friends. We have some beautiful bromeliads. AK runs tropical plants and orchids. What else have we got over here? This is called alocosias. They look like elephant ears. Yes. And what about those bushes over there? This one is called bobcat orchid. AK, what's this one here? My mom used to grow this. This what one is, is called corn plant. They don't grow corn, Does just leaves the... corn plants. I know, they yeah. don't grow corn. corn. But I didn't want the same old. Yeah. I wanted cutting edge. What's the new hip plant? From okay. this way. This is called fig tree. It's very popular right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, they it's come huge. Yeah. AK showed me what's properly called the fiddle leaf fig. It might seem familiar if you're the type who drools over design magazines. Talk to me about the fiddle leaf fig. What is the big deal with that plant? The fiddle leaf fig is kind of the, the craze in the design world right now. Mm -hmm. It's really, really beautiful. It's an African fig tree that doesn't produce actual figs, by the way. And interior designer Brad Sherman has been putting it to work. You can put it into a minimalist loft and it goes great with all sorts of interiors. But beauty isn't everything. That's another one that is easy. I have right? one small issue. Because I'm so bad with plants, at, at a certain point I thought I would just get pictures of plants. Sure. Because everything I make right, ends right, up, yes. you know, dying. AK insisted yes, that's not a problem with the fiddle leaf fig. This is very easy. People don't have time, especially in New York. Yes, you we're have very to, busy You have York. to put like a water once a week. Brad Sherman begs to differ. Fiddle leaves are more emotional plants. They... What do you mean emotional? They, well, do they cry? They're sensitive. And that's why Brad is already moving yeah, it on. Does, it does look like a piece of sculpture. He showed me his yucca, which he thinks is the next it plant. It doesn't need constant attention and watering. It <laughs> definitely will withstand a little bit of neglect. Oh, this is so pretty, Hadley. Thank you so much. But I wasn't giving up oh, on the fiddle leaf that, fig. Is that it? That's it. I Here went it for a third opinion. So how old is she? Ten years, actually. This is a ten-year-old plant. Ten-year-old plant. How did you keep it alive for so long? Some people would say neglect. <laughs> Landscape designer Hadley Peterson has a beloved fiddle leaf fig tucked away in her New Jersey home. Are you feeling like the hipness of you making a statement with the plant? I don't know about that. I've never kind of felt hip in my life, but if that's it, I'll, I'll take it. And that clinched it. I brought home my very own fiddle leaf fig. Figgy and I have an agreement. He'll increase my hipness factor. And I'll do my best to keep him alive. <laughs> <laughs>